how to use in 10 assessment book known as yellow book introduction the intern assessment instrument is a document which the university of education winiba and the institute for teacher education and continued professional development have approved for assessing the teaching and instructional activities of interns in all partnership schools and colleges in the country the intern record book have seven major components. The components are pre-observation, known as IRB1, post-observation, IRB2, observation, IRB3, evaluation, IRB4, reflection, IRB5, timely evaluation, IRB6, head of institutions evaluation, IRB7. I am going to discuss this into details. IRB1, which is known as pre-observation. This is a sheet that the mentor is supposed to give to the student teacher when the student teacher is about to go and teach. The student teacher will fill this sheet and add it to his or her lesson notes and send it to the mentor. 24 hours before he will go and teach. The mentor then will sit the student teacher down and go through the notes and then what he has filled on the sheet with the student teacher. If there are corrections on it, the mentor will ask the student teacher to go and do the corrections before he or she will go and stand in front of the class and teach. After teaching, the mentor would give the student teacher IRB2 to fill. The student teacher, after filling the IRB2, will send it back to the mentor. Then, the mentor will sit the student teacher down again and explain what happened in the classroom with the student teacher. The third one is observation or the grading sheet. This one we will discuss it into detail, so I'm skipping it. The next one is evaluation, IRB4. IRB4 is what the mentor or the supervisor will be writing the point about the student whilst the student is teaching. After that, the student, the mentor, will discuss what he has written about the student with the student teacher. The next one is reflection, IRB5. The mentor will give a copy of IRB5 to the student to fill. After that, the student will go and show it to the mentor. Then the mentor will discuss what is on the sheet with the student. After everything, the mentor will give IRB1, IRB2, IRB4, and IRB5 to the student to put it into his or her portfolio. Then, the mentor will fill IRB6, which is the timely evaluation. After that, he will send it with the IRB3 that the mentor has filled to the head teacher. The head will then fill IRB7 and then mail it to the department. Now, I'm going to discuss IRB3 into details. IRB3 is green in color. IRB3 have been put into sessions. Session 1 is the student particulars. The mentor is supposed to fill the particulars of, it, of the student. That is the name of the student, registration or index number, department, school, town, region, subject 
name of supervisor or mentor, date when supervision takes place, time or duration of supervision. Session two, that is planning and preparation. This session covers what the mentee has done in respect of planning or preparation for the lesson. The items to assess cover what the lesson notes reveal to the mentor or supervisor, even in the absence of the mentee. This session should present evidence of the thoroughness and adequacy or otherwise of preparation. Session 3. Instructional Skills This session seeks to cover assessment of the evidence of what the mentee or teacher does to instill alertness at the beginning and in the course of the lesson. It seeks to describe evidence of general procedure that the mentee follows throughout the lesson period. It is a very important session for assessment because it is here that the mentee follows procedure by which he or she can achieve success. The next session is classroom management. This session requires the mentor or supervisor to look for how the mentee maintains order and discipline and how he or she manages the class without problems. Communication skills. This session deals with assessment of the mentee's ability to communicate. This involves ability not only to speak clearly and when necessary, but it also includes ability to listen to whatever is being said, as well as the use of nonverbal communication. The mentee is assessed on the avoidance of overused phrases like, okay, I mean, an excessive speech and physical mannerism. Evaluation. Here, the supervisor or mentor looks for how the mentee brings the lesson to a close. He is expected to show evidence of monitoring people's activities and participation. He is expected also to ensure and encourage student self-evaluation. Scoring. Each session contains a number of items for assessment. The range of scores is between 0 and 4. Interpretation of the figures. When a scorer or assessor records zero for any item, it only means that the mentee did not exhibit that behavior at all in his or her teaching. A score of one means that the item is applicable, but the mentee or teacher has not exhibited it fully to the ultimate satisfaction of the mentor or supervisor. A score of 2 to 4 means that the relevant item or behavior has been fully exhibited. Grading system 80 plus is A, 75 to 79 is B plus, 70 to 74 is B, 65 to 69 is C plus. 60 to 64 is C, 55 to 59 is D plus, 50 to 54 is D, 45 to 49 is E. Thank you very much.